Hello and happy Friday. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. Welcome to the channel Fridays with Brandon and this is episode number 81 of Fluke Fridays. What we're going to talk about today is the Fluke 718 and go through a pressure calibration um, using the hand pump, the plunger pump that comes with the 718 and um, kind of talk through the instrument a little bit. So let's jump right into it. Okay. So you can see, when you look at the 718, you can see you've got several different things. We've got some valves on the side, we've got some knobs on the bottom, so let's talk through these. Power button, units, you can see the different uh, functions. What we're going to talk about today is specifically we're going to go over um, how you can do a calibration. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit. We want to do all the buttons and know what those do. Look at the user manual. Uh, down here you can see this is actually the import input of the pressure we're going to supply and this is going to measure your 4 to 20 milliamps and then this would be if you have an external uh, pressure module that you can plug in here to give it different pressure ranges if you need like a lower pressure range um, and still use the hand pump to to simulate that. Okay, you can see this is a 0 to 300 PSI that's why the model is 718-300G. On the side, we see we've got two different things. We've got a positive pressure or negative pressure if you want to do vacuum. And then we have um, an open or vented or ready to uh, create pressure, closed valve. So we want that. And then this is going to be our fine tuning valve where we're going to be able to spin this one way or the other and uh, to either make more pressure, righty-tighty, more pressure, lefty-loosey, less pressure. And this is the plunger um, that's going to pump up pressure for us. Okay, so let's open that valve, let all the pressure out, and let's get started. So you can see right here, this is actually an attachment, it doesn't come with it. It does come with a kit, and I'll put the uh, kit below. I recommend these. These will really help uh, improve the speed at which you can do calibrations, and you don't have to have any tools because the kit comes with this guy. I've got another video on this. Um, this hose that can connect in here just by finger tightening. Okay, and then I've got a heart transmitter here that we're going to connect. Obviously, we're not going to talk heart today, but we can supply the loop power that it needs and calibrate it, fire it up and calibrate it. So we've got that finger tightened on, no tools. I'll show you this in fast forward motion. Got our leads for the electrical side. Red with red and black with black. And you probably don't want to watch me do this, so I'll fast forward this again. Okay, so hose out of the way, we're going to jump into this. We know we need to supply loop power, so I'm going to hold down this, turn it on, and you can see it said loop power mode, it's firing up, and we're going to see if there are any pressure. So first, let's vent it. We are vented. So that's pretty good, right on the four milliamps. Let's go up to full scale. This uh, transmitter set at 100 PSI. So I closed the vent on that side. And now we're gonna get this stuff out of the way. Except hopefully that hose won't be in our way. And I'm gonna pump this up for us. You can see that hopefully. Ah, I zeroed it out. Sorry. Oh, I'm not sure what that zero. I think I knew it. Yep. We're going pretty well. We're trying to get up to 100 psi. Okay. You can see we overshot. I'm going to let it settle out for a little bit. Wow. I just lucked out on that. That's not typical. But it's I'm going to let it go a little bit below and watch. I can readjust this by righty-tighty. 
to bring it back up to 100. So you're at 100 and you see we're at 20.0, just again, 20.011. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's at 100%. Now we want to do drop it down to 50. Instead of opening it up all the way, I'm just going to open this valve up a little bit and watch it start going down. You might be able to hear it, you might not. I can hear it hissing on me. We're going to try to stop at 50. So I'll see how close we can get. This is like at the gas pump, right? Try not to overshoot it. Okay. I'm going to stop it at 52, let it settle a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Let me see if I can adjust this. Might be able to see it better. There we go. So now I'm going to actually loosen this now, the fine tune adjust, and get it down to 50. <clears throat> Let it settle for a second. Go a little further. Almost there. And you can see we're at <coughs> half scale because this is a, this is a zero to hundred psi, and we're almost at half of the milliamp between four and twenty, which is exactly what we would hope for. So when doing a calibration in the field, you would get this to fifty uh, psi. You probably have that in your calibration form, and then you would write this number down. And we're almost there. So at 12.005 is what you would write down. And then obviously if you want to go back to vented, we can open it wide up, go all the way back down to zero, let it settle out. And we are at 3999. Okay? So that was a calibration with the 718. I hope this was helpful. I know it's not a very complicated tool, but I thought, you know what? There's not a whole lot of videos on this out there and it would be valuable for you guys to see it. And if any of you guys have customers, either you're a distributor selling this or uh, you're a fluke seller selling this, and you have a customer asking about this, it's a great video to share with them. And hopefully there's some value with that. Beyond that, if you've watched more than three of these videos, don't forget to don't forget to hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this. Thanks and have a wonderful weekend. Take care.